Hey, Cold Case Calls here. Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome. And this is our very first installment of Off Grid Log Cabin Living. And I'm William Cody, your host. And this is a new segment that we're doing on the channel. We're going to give it a shot and um, just generally addressing off-grid living as well as survival um we're kind of living mountain man style out here on the mesa uh we're about 20 30 minutes from the nearest house or main road uh, we're way out in the boonies and this is a segment for folks that are starting to think about wanting to maybe get off grid and not have the burdens of always being in a city you don't have to live like that guys um it's all about networking i want to tell you my story real quick uh I, you know i had the old family life i had the wife and child and a store and uh, in another town right west of here and uh it was good living for a while. We had some good years, me and my ex. Uh, we had a beautiful daughter, 10-year-old daughter. Um, but we lived together and worked together in a small town and never took any breaks or vacations. So it kind of weighed heavily on us and on, on the relationship. And uh, if I could go back and do a lot of things different, I would. But th things happen in life and marriages don't end up working out sometimes. So I ended up giving her a three-bed, three-bath house and everything in it. And I took uh, the dogs. I took Coggle and Zoom, and that's all I really took out of the entire situation. Uh, man, we, I had so much stuff accumulated with houses and vehicles and boats. And uh, after my divorce, I started selling everything off and 100% liquidating everything and simplifying life and trying to be a simple man. You know, like Leonard Skinner talks about in our song, to be a simple man. Uh, and I couldn't agree with him more. That's a beautiful song, too. Uh, but I couldn't be happier now where I'm at, guys. So I got I bought this 10 acres out here. I got a smoking deal on it. And I want that's what I want to tell you guys. It doesn't take much to network in this, even in the state you're in. Find a beautiful place where you could see yourself living and growing old and retiring. And network it and invite it into your life. Um, it did not take me long to get out here on this mesa and network. Um, I was renting a property for some festival grounds over here, an adjacent property. And I slowly just begot, began to meet the local farmers and landowners and became friends with them, helped them out a lot with cows, um, cattle getting out. And, uh, you know, once you, be, you get a name for yourself... And locally within the neighborhood is, become, is known as being a good guy, a helpful person. And uh, that goes a long way with these farmers. Uh, you never know when these big landowners, they have little chunks of land that they might want to sell off because they need a little bit of money or they like you and they want to help you out. So, guys, I got a smoking deal like 10 acres for $20,000 in Colorado is unheard of. But you can find these deals, northern New Mexico, southern Colorado. And then I just built a cabin, y'all. So it's basically just like a shed style, just one giant room, two by four walls. I built it all myself. And I actually used a lot of the material that I reclaimed from old barns out here on this mesa from way back in the late 18, early 1900s. And that's like this whole fascia on this cabin is all old rustic barn wood that I reclaimed. And, um, I put new pro panel roof, so the roof is brand new. It's got a, a pro panel roof, and I got a big giant solar panel up there, and that's what I charge batteries with. And we got lights in there. I have some real nice festive lights. And uh, I'll show you the sides of it. I hope you're having a blessed week this week. But you see, I used old tin roof style metal, and that's all the way around on the sides. And uh, it's real good, you know, that old metal, they don't make stuff like they used to. That old tin, it, you know, it's bulletproof. It doesn't rust how hardly. And uh, it's great for stopping the wind and overlaps. And so, but I just wanted to show you all the cabin. This is, I named it the Love Shack 
after i'm don't worry i'm not a weirdo it's after b-52's cosmic thing album from back in the day you know i'm from alabama and they're from georgia so uh that's a uh homage to b-52's cosmic thing love shack and they had a music video and there was a uh a cabin similar to this one in it so this is a proper alabama style cabin y'all and uh just basic simple stuff you need a grill outdoor propane grill i got a lot of propane tanks i got the game camera in case anyone sneaks up on me i got motion sensor lights out here and this one got a flip lid walk uh flip lid chest cooler and i like to keep firewood underneath here when it snows to keep it dry uh, you get let your wood get soaked and it's hard to hard for it to light up when you're freezing but that's the outhouse there the throne that i built i do have an outdoor shower set up outdoor shower bag that i heat up and take a shower out here got a generator 4500 watt generator but I just want to say, y'all, you don't need much. Like, I've simplified my life down and sold off everything. All I got is a simple car, a little Volkswagen Passat station wagon, <clears throat> and a cabin. And everything I own, y'all, is just right here. I don't have any storage unit uh, payments. I don't pay utilities. I don't pay water bills. I don't pay internet, all this stuff. I, I pay my phone bill. That's the only bill I got, y'all, is paying my phone bill. And, uh... Other than that, it's just chopping wood and getting water. You know, uh, it's like Confucius say, chop wood and carry water. And I challenge you, if you can simplify your life down to where you can <laughs> just focus in the, in the wintertime on like chopping wood and carrying water, it's a great life. I got to say, I've really found myself out here. And I challenge you, if you want to uh, go off grid and you're having some troubles in your life, Take some time and go out in Mother Nature and get out in the middle of nowhere where it's just you and nature and loneliness. And you will find yourself, whether it's a, if it's an art you want to do or writing, or uh, you'll, you'll really be able to clear your mind of the clutter and chaos that the city and population brings and society brings. And you can come out here and you will really start to ex- out the things in your life you don't want and you'll be able to circle what you do want and uh man it's it's great for creativity guys so but i just wanted to show you all around the cabin a little so you can see i did, did the floor in old barn wood and uh i got some I, some click together flooring here that i did for that there's the girl say hi zuma say hi nip she they're sleepy we went on a big hike today and we worked today and this is and this ponderosa pine I got out here and cedar wood. Got the old pot belly stove. And guys, this thing is a lifesaver and a game changer. And I think that you and everyone should own a pot belly stove in case the power grid goes down. You can survive in the wintertime with a pot belly stove, y'all. I can cook on the top of this thing. Look. I heat up water for coffee and tea on this thing. You can move, remove these plates and, and create a real hot plate. Um, I usually have these full of water, but it creates a nice steam. And guys, I actually take a bath here. You can take like after a hard day's work, I, I fill this up with water, these two, and let them get real hot. And then you just, you know, back in the old days, that's how our, our ancestors used to do it. Uh, families used to gather around the stove and get the hot water off the stove and all take little, you know, just little bird baths and kind of scrub themselves off and clean up. It actually works really well. So other than that, it's just, I'm telling y'all, it's incredibly simple. Bunk beds. My daughter comes, she loves the top bunk. But it's just a one room cabin, y'all. And you can see how I built it. I just, I mean, it's all basic two by four. A little bit of plywood on top, pro panel. I use spray foam to, to hit all the joints where the air is coming in. And then I mylar the inside. So it's just mylar, frame walls, 
and then uh, a small plywood and then tin. And that's all that this structure is. It's very simple. It's just like a big giant sh glorified shed is all it is, y'all. And this is the most important tool if you're off grid living that you can have. This is more important than duct tape or anything else. This thing will get you out of a bind. If it's a negative 15 degrees outside, it will unfreeze the generator and make it crank. If something's froze hard, you can lightly warm it up with this thing. It starts fires incredibly fast. And I truly believe this is one of my most important tools that I own out here in the middle of nowhere on the Mesa is a torch. And it's not used for anything nefarious other than lighting fires. <laughs> so, But... Um, I just want to show you all, it's very simple to find a piece of property and go out there and just basically build up, you know, a little cabin. You can do it I, with YouTube and all the how-to videos and with Home Depot. Uh, you can get schematics from Home Depot and blueprints. I mean, it's super simple, y'all. I mean, if you if you know how to hammer a nail, if you you can build this. It's, you know, so all I, I used a ladder a handsaw, hammers, and nails. And I use some screws and stuff too for the propane, you know, like roofing screws. But guys, I built this in a summer. I bought this property and built this cabin in one summer by myself. Super simple. And now I'm out here living off grid. Got a super cozy, warm cabin. Well, guys, when I lay in there at night, it's so hot and cozy. I have to leave the door cracked a lot because that stove just cranks heat. And the dogs love it. So, but I just want to let you know, you know, you, you can stick it to Uncle Sam a little bit. You don't have to have the mortgage and the, the super high dollar mansion and the big mortgage and car payments and internet payments out the wazoo and phone payments and yada, yada. It's everything's just payments, 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 payments. It's maddening, guys. And uh, I just want to let you know, you can simplify your life. All I have is like a phone bill, y'all. <laughs> and uh, life's good. You know, I don't have any money other than that. And I chop wood and carry water during the days. And I got a little job uh, working on a farm around here. But I just want to say, you can network and find a beautiful place you want to be in the country. Whether it's the mountains or a lake or the beaches. And just move there and start renting a place, save up some money, start renting and just slowly start networking, start meeting the people that own the properties and just be there, you know, hey, can I ever help, if you ever need help with anything, uh, give me a call, I can come out here and help you clean your stalls or help you with your cattle or help you fix men fence or just be friendly and just be an, a, a good neighbor and good things will happen to you, you know. Most of all, give shout out to the creator too. Like say your prayers, um, speak to a higher power and he, they, they will talk back to you in other ways. They won't speak directly to you, but they will help you out in other ways and your life will be fulfilling. Um, well, I just wanted to say anybody can do this girl, boy. Uh, you don't have to be um, a mountain man or anything like that. You could, just be someone from the city that wants to move off grid. And just have a plan. It's very simple, guys. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm telling you, I found myself out here. Uh, it's very rewarding, you know, chopping wood and carrying water in here and, you know, cooking a dinner on the grill every night. Everything tastes better in a cast iron skillet. I got a cast iron skillet. That was my grandmother's. And, I just couldn't be happy out here on this Mesa guy. I'm 10 miles away from the nearest house and like 20 minutes away from the nearest hard road. And it's, it gets so quiet out here. Listen how quiet it is, just listen. Y'all, that's extreme quiet. And it actually took me a while to get used to because you know, not very often in your life you're in a place where there's literally no sound, no background noise, no vehicles in the distance, no rumbling of jets overhead. I mean, just total absolute silence. And it gives me goosebumps a little bit right now, like my hair standing up because it's it's like therapy, you know? It's really weird. It's like ASMR or something, just sitting and just, be, just being 
in nature and just living and being here and breathing and just listening to nothing. Yeah, there's something therapeutic about it. But uh, it'll put hair on your chest out here in the country, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, when you have zero neighbors or, you know, everything's so far away, you really got to prepare. And uh, if you're good at preparing, I live by the rules of the seven P's, and I challenge you to write this down right now. Perfect prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. And that's the lucky seven P's. And if you live your life by that, and you, I mean, it's all about preparedness. Before you go into a situation, you want to have backup situations in place. You know, plan B's and C's in case plan A fails. Like, for instance, I have the wood burning stove, but if something happens with that and I can't get wood or I get hurt or something, I have a propane stove and I have an electric heater that I can run off the generator. So that's plan A, B, and C for heat. Uh, with water, you know, I get water from a spring up the road. But, I mean, there's water everywhere. Look at all the snow, y'all. You just boil up some water. I keep four large propane tanks of propane at all time. You know, in case we get stuck out here. And I challenge you to always have a month's worth of food, at least a month. You want to have a month worth of, if you have dogs, you want a month worth of dog food and a month worth of human food. I mean, just stock up on, even if it's just canned food and noodles and rice, uh, just basic stuff and just have it just in case, you know. You can live a long time off rice. But I wanted to say thanks for stopping by for our first installment of Off-Grid Cabin Living out here. And, um been a beautiful week and a beautiful start to 2024 and um, I hope you're going to chase your dreams in 2024 and make it the best year of your life like I like I keep saying you know you are your own historian in your life uh, create your own reality invite what you want into your life if it's wealth if it's love um, if it's just complacency you know just invite that into your life uh, meditation's great i challenge you to meditate just close your eyes and let the sun ba bake on your face and just breathe and think about what you want to achieve in your life and invite it in ask the creator ask your higher power to help you with what you want to achieve and watch it happen before your eyes and um it's anything's possible so like i said i was a company man with a kid and the whole, you know, house and uh, in the city. And and now here I am out here living off grid, just loving life. So it, anything's possible, guys. I wanted to say stay tuned this Friday. Coming up, we're going to do a fireside chat. We're going to give the fireside chat another try. I wanted to apologize. The last fireside chat, uh, of course, the damn live sucked. Uh it glitched out so i found out with youtube if you're not in the middle of a city with 5g service the lives won't work and they glitch so we won't be doing any more lives unless i'm got uh, in the middle of new york city so but we're still trying to hustle up money for the chelsea grim search we still got the paintings for sale um if you want to look back go to the community portion of my page and you can see what paintings we still have left I sure would appreciate that. And uh, if you did purchase something, they should be arriving to you soon. And to the young lady who purchased the Southern Ute Dog Soldier, I'm holding it for you. I know you're on vacation, but I just want to let you know that I'm holding on to that painting for you. And you can contact me via email, which is in the description, uh, my PayPal and uh, Cash App and all my e email is in the description. So I want to say thank you and blessings to the creator and blessings to you for stopping by and uh, let's together make 2024 great. Uh, we got a lot of big plans for this channel um, and I want to let you guys know I stopped and met with Colorado Bureau of Inve Investigation. I can't tell you about what or why or who. If you follow my channel, you'll know who it's about. You hear that, guys? 
The wheels of justice are turning. The wheels of justice are turning. So I'm going to leave it at that. Have a blessed week, and we'll see you all on Friday. Please tune in, and uh, have a blessed evening, guys.